road yet, back again. As you can see, once again, it is nighttime football and the rain is hammering down slightly. I mean, can it slightly hammer down? I think I might be contradicting myself there, but look, it's, it's, it's not even hammering it down. It's slightly, it's light drizzle, light drizzle at best. Anyway, as you can see from the title today, we are heading to Dagenham and Redbridge, also known as Dagenham and Redbridge. And this club's a bit of a funny one because it's just one big merger after another. And to help me work it out, I've got my dad on the phone. Originally from Walthamstow, he knows his stuff. Dad, what went on with Dagenham and Redbridge? Dagenham and Redbridge is a combination of, well, going back, Walthamstow Avenue, Ilford, Redbridge, and it became Dagenham and Redbridge, and that's how it is at the moment. And there may have been other little clubs, I don't know. I mean, is Leightonstone still going? Well, Dad, the plot thickens. It was founded in 1886. The club ceased to exist in 1979 when it merged with Ilford to form Leightonstone and Ilford, which later became Redbridge Forest, after absorbing Walthamstow Avenue. Okay, so they were amongst it as well. So, I mean, that's got a bit of a pedigree then, Dagenham and Redbridge. They do. Did someone say name? Jeez, by the way, Dad. Dagenham and Redbridge. They were founded in 1992, although on the badge it does state 1881, which I'm sure if you trace back is one of these original clubs which was part of all of these mergers. They currently find themselves in the National League. They play their football at Victoria Road, also known as the Chigwell Construction Stadium, which I'll have you know has a capacity L6078. As you can see, we're currently sitting in traffic as we queue for the whip restriction that nobody wants to go through apart from this guy, this guy, myself and everyone else here as well. So whilst we wait for Beyonce to give us the green light, here's where we were previously. Where's he going? Fizz! Fizz! <laughs> yeah, that was Halstead Town. Who? Halstead Town. I know, we went to the depths of the football ladder, 10th tier, where of course we asked for 10,000 likes. Did we get the 10,000 likes? Of course not. But you know what? I'll forgive you. It was the Christmas period. However, I am going to ask for 10,000 likes for an absolute titan of the football league slash non-league. It's the absolute least that Dagnum deserve. So do myself, yourself, Dagnum, and World Peace a favour by pausing the video. Yeah, I'll do it for you. And heading down there and hitting that like button. 10,000 likes, please. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That will allow my videos to pop into your subscription feed. And if you want to be notified when a new video is out on this channel, hit that bell, please. Begging done. As you can see, I'm driving into a complex. The only complex that's worth driving into because amongst other people living here, there is one man called Charlie. He's my co-host and he'll be joining me on this trip. Talking of the trip, it's only 32 minutes there. Let's do this. Hello. Hello. Let me show you how easy this trip was. First of all, we go past Aldi, and it's the only place worth doing your weekly shop. Oh, hang on, need some cash. Gonna pull into this SO. There's a stigma around buying flowers from a petrol station, but you know what? Checking these out, they, they weren't too bad, to be fair. Didn't buy them, though. Anyway, cash got back on track, and now we're heading on to the bloody A13. And now we're leaving the bloody A13. Look at that size for Dagnum. Question, is bloody classed as swearing? Because... I feel like it's not. Dad, on the other hand, he says, don't say bloody, don't say it. But I just can't work out if it's, no, I don't know. Vote in the poll above. Anyway, as you saw from the previous clip, we left the A13 into Dagenham. We're now in Dagenham and we're parking up in Dagenham. Somebody say Dagenham. We're now walking in Dagenham. At Victoria Road in Dagenham. The is at the end of this road in Dagenham. It's 1836 in Dagenham. Welcome to the Chigwell Construction Stadium in Dagenham. Let's head into the clubhouse where some sort of Christmas function is going on. We're not going in there. Oh, shit. Sure. Dagger's bar. Let's go. So we're at the bar as Charlie gets his beer. Happy man. For the size of this room, there's a severe lack of seats. So we're standing at the bar, leaning at the bar. Check out the bar lane. I'd personally have one leg over the other, but it's still good. After Charlie's beer, he's gone for a slasher. Check out some of the honours. League 2 playoff winners. The good old days. Which actually weren't so long ago. On the way out, we bump into on the road view of Jack. Hello. Hello. Just outside, there's a programme shop and a supports club office. Many of programmes from down the years. You want one, grab one here. Also, so shirts. Lots of shirts. I've got a standard price. Terry's got a standard price. 15 quid. Flat rate. This Southampton shirt. 15 quid. This Chelsea shirt. 15 quid. This absolute beauty of a Barcelona shirt. 15 quid. What do you mean you've never heard of Dutch amateur tried? Vivi Baroni. An absolute steal. Yeah, you guessed it. 15 quid. Terry's got games as well. Plenty of games. And just let you know, before FIFA, they played Sabutio. I'm so old. Even I had it. Terry's now trying to flog Charlie a football jigsaw puzzle. It's crazy. Because there's all the shirts being 15 quid. Entry. 15 quid. Give me the cha-ching. 15 quid. So tonight's plan is to stand in the terrace, which we later found out would have cost us a tenner, I believe. That's what we're told anyway. This entrance is for seats. Hence the reason we pay 15 quid. I mean, we could have saved ourselves a fiver, I'm sure, but hey, it doesn't matter. I won't be knocking them down. I just want to get in. And say, whoop, whoop. Hey, up, Smith. It's that time of the weekend. So we're on the other side and straight away I'm going in for the kill. Julie's. It may be a Photoshop menu, but it does look good in there. They've got loads of stuff. Even a homemade shepherd's pie. I bet if you ask for a quiche, they'd say yes. For me though, half pound cheeseburger. Need a good shot of the burger. Julie, bite that in front of the camera for me. Oh wow, practically on the camera. But it'll do because we've got autofocus. That's four pound eighty spent on food. <laughs> 
course I'm going to get one. That's one pound fifty spent on drink. As you can see, Charlie's got chips. He's doing his old Tommy K mustard combination. He's happy. I know what you're thinking. Do I want burgers with my cheese? Yes, I did. Find out how this one went down at the end of the video. This right here is bought by Rob. Hello. Hello. As we stand in the terrace, here is our view. Oh, hello, mate. How you been? Yeah, views from the terrace. Anyone with OCD, look away now. I mean, it's the D, it's the R, and the S. It's just, all of it. Right, enough of that. Let's have a look over here. We've got a seated stand with subs benches. And of course, we've got. Uh, yep, yeah, that. Move on. Move on. Over there, we've got a bit of a terrace. VIP terrace, though. That's covered. If it rains, we know where we're going because right here, it's uncovered. Behind the goal, where we will be standing today. Now, I shall not let the teams walk in out distract me from the fact that I need to give a shout out to the groundsman for making the beautiful game look beautiful. But I will let you know that the teams are walking out. It's Dagenham and Redbridge in the white. Their opponents tonight in the yellow is Sutton United. And this is an FA Trophy first round replay. As you can see, Sutton have brought the whole town there. But according to Wikipedia, Sutton is a large town, so I may be wrong. As far as mascots go, I can accept this one. It's an animal. Seems friendly enough. But you know, inside is Kevin. He's getting 30 quid cash in hand, which will be spent on a Chinese later tonight. A Chinese? Kevin? What if it's you? It is you. I knew it was. So unfortunately, I just missed the moment that Dagenham and Redbridge stuck their left foot in and their left foot out. And then, right, they went in, out, in, out, and then they shook it all about. Here's a shot of them warming up. Warming up before the big game. It's Dagenham and Redbridge v. Sutton United. This is an FA Trophy. First round replay here at the Chigwell Construction Stadium. And man, I'm stoked for this one. <laughs> So as Fireman Trevor makes his way in, I think I might have forgot to mention that Dagenham have been taken over by American owners. Tim Howard, yep, the goalkeeper, he's involved. Yeah, if I miss anything else tonight, you can check out Dagger's TV. But anyway, I'll try not to miss anything. <laughs> Tell you what, being a steward down here is a right old laugh. Justice for stewards is definitely a thing at Victoria Road. So it's Sutton to start the brighter. This shot here, going well, well wide though. I've got to say, for Dagenham to win this tonight, I feel like they've got to encourage growth and unlock their potential, you know? If they do, these fans here should be cheering. Lying on this near side here, great form, great form. Welcome to the family. In other news, Charlie's off for a slash and nothing happened in that time. So here he is returning. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Is someone out there ready and all? Keep up! Steward goals. Check out this jacket. The upper part and sleeves being white screams I'm in charge. But the bottom half being orange pays homage to the roots of a steward. The early days. It's spot on, I'm telling you. Love it. As you can see, Charlie's trying to get a photo of the football. Or is it a story? Might be a story for his Instagram. And I'm telling you now, you can follow him on there. You can. You really can. Oh, look who it is. It's big Peter Taylor. England national team experience. I love you now. What? He's been sacked. Oh. Let's try this again. At the time of recording this video, Peter Taylor was in charge of Dagenham and Redbridge. Unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever way you look at it, that is no longer the case. So Peter Taylor is available for hire. Also, the hall is available for hire. Don't bother ringing the number. They never pick up. Just chuck them an email. Functions at daggers.co.uk. Did someone say sweep the keeper? Keeper! Did someone say stick a foot in? That's a good tackle. We love that. So just let you know, this is not Charlie. Just another guy in a red jacket, but he knows. He knows. So much so, I've become the visual for my trip over on Insta, and you can follow me on there. You can. You really can. So daggers are under pressure, but they're defending well. Great cross. Well in, love that. At times we do a one to watch. I am picking this lad here, number 18, Will Randall for Sutton United. He's looked good early on. Watch out for him. Charlie's gone for the home side, the daggers, and he's looking out for Luke, number 19. We're looking for Luke, and there he is. Now I thought we'd lost the ankles to the winter, but Charlie's got him firmly out again. I'm hearing some slight noise from that corner over there. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this man on Britain's Got Talent. Just two hands, but three hot drinks being held. Mine blown. <laughs> Thank you very much. Elvis? By the way, the quality of the sound system here at Dagnum is spot on. Doesn't sound like a megaphone, you know. Proper sound system. In the Carabao Cup quarterfinal, it is Aston Villa 4. Whoop. Liverpool nil. What? See, that is half time. I got some comments on my Instagram, didn't I? For those of you who wanted to be in the video, hopefully you see yourself. If you don't, well, I do apologise. Over on Twitter, Scott wants me to get the word quiche into this video. He bloody loves a good quiche. Listen, Scott, I've already done it, mate. Already done it. Join us for the second I've got on the road view of Callum. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hey, Julie, I'm back. And I managed to get the last available chips on the night and a hot chocolate. That's another £3.60. I was just hungry, alright? Just leave me alone. As you can see, we're ready to kick off this second half. <laughs> Someone out there needs to stir things up. So here we go. Back to our position in the terrace. Good start from Daggers. Here we go. Head on that. Cleared by Grimsby. But the plan remained the same. Ball into the box. Cleared by... I'm not going to keep doing it, but yeah. So not only got one non-league hot chocolate here. We've got two. This will keep us going until next year. On the edge of the box, we've got Charlie's one to watch. It's Luke Gay. Yes! Come on. Love it, Daggers. And just like that, one zit to the daggers. Check out the sound system. Okay. Just the right amount of bass and treble. It's just, oh, divine. Now, I wouldn't be lying if I told you that Dagenham could have made it too. Go on. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh I'm lucky. Head up, head up. The Charlie's one to watch scored. Mine, well, he was subbed. I still love you, Will. In other news, Charlie's dipping chips into hot chocolate. In-depth review coming in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Not bad. Because of that in-depth review, I've only just caught the back end of this. It's a penalty. Whether it was or wasn't, I don't know. Rest pointed to the spot, though. Stepping up, it's Twinkle Toes. As <laughs> gotta be said, this man knows how to take a penalty. That's one all. They now get to celebrate with the tens of fans. <laughs> Did somebody say wallop? 
Ooh. Sorry, can we just appreciate the sound system again? Replacing number nine, Chica Candy. Honestly, it's just fantastic. It sounds like I'm at Wembley. Please welcome number 11, Bagger Sam Graham. If sound systems were a thing in the On The Road series, it, five stars all round. When he scores, if he scores, so United, you've got a very easy chance in the tune to win a City good life. Replace it with good lift. In-game thoughts. I like his boots. Yeah, but I did. Close to the end, Sutton got a corner. Oh, dear. Oh! But then again, so are the daggers. Get on that. Bang! I'm pretty sure that's going to work in the morning. No, the final whistle is one all. That means we're going extra time, possibly penalties. And guess where Charlie's off to? Just like have a quick break and all. Then an out of focus substitution. Sound system, though. All right. Number 15, Joe Quigley. Please welcome yeah. number 20, James Dobson. Hello, James. Welcome to the game. And so we're going first half of extra time. First real chance of it. Go back off him! <laughs> Oh dear. So, and I currently got one foot in the next round of the FA Trophy. With nothing else really happening in the first half of extra time, that brings us to half time or of extra time. <laughs> and happy. Ain't happy at all, and I've got 15 minutes to turn it around. So, Fireman Trevor looks a lot different. He's aged. I guess that's what this game does to you sometimes. As we kick off, it's 15 minutes to go. And it's the daggers that start the bright as the ball's put out to this near side here. It's then put into the box. Where's Grimsby, though? Yep. Go on. Hey, baby. That's 2 2. Uh, Desmond. Following that, we could well be witnessing penalties soon. There's a guy called Mitch Brundle. He said, Not tonight. Yep. Yeah, no. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and that, my friends, is what you call a turnaround. 106 minutes on the clock. It's 2 1 to Sutton. Three minutes later, it's 3 2 to the Daggers. Late on, though, it could have been 3 3. <laughs> Denied by the line over there. Fantastic form. And just moments later, that was full time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for your support over this marathon match. Come on. Have a safe journey home, everybody. Too kind, too kind. Anyway, it's time to rate this experience. We're going to start things off with atmosphere. Lacking, wasn't it, really? No songs, lots of criticism. Eventually, it turned around and they were happy, but unfortunately, atmosphere was lacking. One and a half. Onto the facilities. This has been a League One ground. I actually like the ground. It feels old school. It's got terraces. What more could you want? I'm going to go three and a half stars. Next up, we're talking food and drink. Decent, wasn't it? Very good. Enjoyed the half pounder. I went back for chips. They were decent too. Of course, they sold Dr. Pepper. So it's going to go up from four stars to four and a half. Well done, Dagenham and Redbridge. Finally, we're talking cost. Was it value for money? Well, we saw a belter of a game. You got to love non league prices. If we're going to nitpick, I'd say the food and drink was slightly more expensive than normal. But overall, very good. We're going to go four and a half stars, which gives the Daggers a total of 14 stars. Very respectable, and that puts them in 16th place. Place. If their atmosphere was kicking, they could have been flying up that table, I'm telling you. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, but the main thing is they're through to the next round. Well done, them men. <laughs> anyway, as we make our way out of here, take note of the giant digital scoreboard. Loving that one. We make our way back to the car, and they're in the car, making the short journey home. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this one. As usual, make sure you drop a like on this video. We're after 10,000 likes, please. That'd be great. And don't forget to support the channel by hitting that subscribe <laughs> button, clicking the bell to be notified when a new video is out. If you have somehow stumbled across this, make sure you check out the rest of the On The Road playlist. We've been to over 50 grand, so if you fancy a binge, feel free to have a look. You might even see your own club. Until then, as usual, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>